Our next question comes from Spencer. Uh, my wife and I are considering long-term care insurance and trying to decide between traditional long-term care or hybrid long-term care. In your opinion, what are the top considerations or pros and cons we should be aware of between these two? Spencer, I think it's a great question. We get it all the time. Uh, my first uh, response is let's look at the rest of your plan and try to decide, is this uh, a luxury that we can afford? Is mm. this something that is going to pinch us down the road? You know, you need to have your income plan solidified, your liquidity, your emergency money, all those things taken care of, your growth and flexibility. Then if there's assets left over, then we can talk about solutions. But it sounds like you're to that point where you're already realized that you've got everything else taken care of. Now you want to shore up long-term care. Mm. I think uh, traditional long-term care is largely going away, Casey. I mean, most of the companies that issued it years and years ago have gotten out of the business, but it is one way to try and protect. I hear people say, well, I want to make sure every dollar is covered. Well, traditional long-term care was originally that that concept. That The challenge was that it was use it or lose it. Now there's very few carriers, so it's very expensive. I'm sure they've run into that by running quotes. But hybrid uh, life insurance is one way that people are using a solution here because it's not a use it or lose it sort of approach. You've got some protection for chronic illness. Oftentimes these are riders, but Casey, it gives the client a little more flexibility in understanding that, hey, I'm probably going to, I know I'm going to pass away someday. So there is going to be a death benefit, gives them a little more flexibility. And what do we consider? There's really four things to consider, but what do you start with? How much is it going to cost and what's the benefit, right? Mm -hmm. What's the value that I'm getting? So what is the long-term care benefit that I'm receiving? How much is it going to cost to get that? And then you factor in, is there a death benefit? Is there a walk-away bucket? You know, can I walk away someday with the money that I put into this without any cost? Or can I have some gains with that cash? Mm -hmm. And if I pass away, Will there be a death benefit that goes to the heirs? Will that pass, when I pass away, will it go to them? If it's traditional long-term care, there won't be a death benefit. Uh, there won't be um, walk-away money either. 